This month's five minute flight maneuver video deals with unusual attitudes. We may find ourselves in an unusual attitude as a result of turbulence, disorientation, instrument failure, or distraction. We need to use intelligent, deliberate reactions rather than instinctive sensory responses, which could be wrong, to recover. An effective instrument scan allows for quick detection of an unusual attitude. And we can break the recovery down to one of two possible scenarios. Either the nose is high or the nose is low. If you're under the hood or in real IMC when trying to recover, it's not as simple as just looking outside the airplane to see what the nose attitude is. Generally, a nose high attitude will be reflected with airspeed that is trending lower. If the airspeed's building or trending up, that generally confirms a nose low attitude. You can confirm this with the attitude indicator, the VSI, and the altimeter. But take a second or two to make sure you know what the nose is doing, then make your recovery. And here's how we do it. From nose high attitudes, add full power, lower the nose, and level the wings. Now these things happen sequentially, but in fairly rapid succession. To recover from a nose low attitude, the procedure is somewhat similar, but because of possible high wing loading, we want to level the wings before we change the attitude of the nose. So for nose low recovery, reduce power to idle, next level the wings, then raise the nose. During recovery, look for reversal and instrument indication trends to indicate that you're now approaching stabilized flight. Okay, enough talking about unusual attitudes, let's go recover from a couple in this skylight. And we're out here in the sky lane today practicing unusual flight attitudes. Any attitude that we don't need for normal everyday flight could be considered an unusual flight attitude. We've made our clearing turn, sweep check, emergency landing below us, and a position report on the radio, and we're ready to go. There's two essential scenarios we could be faced with with unusual flight attitudes, and that's either the nose is high or the nose is low. There's a couple indications that we'll use to determine that. In this first scenario, we see the trend of the airspeed is down, which would indicate that the nose is high. We can also see from the turn coordinator, the attitude indicator, that the wings are also in a left turn. So to recover from this unusual attitude, the first thing we want to do is get the nose down, bring in full power, and then level the wings, and it happens almost sequentially. The recovery is complete when the instruments reverse course. Airspeed is now building. BSI is down and altitude is stabilized. Another common scenario would put us with increasing airspeed. As the airspeed builds, we open our eyes and we see that trend occurring. Indicates that the nose is low. We also have a right turn going, so we're going to level the wings, bring the nose up and reduce power almost simultaneously. Remember, unloading the wings first is important before we bring the nose up because we don't want to exceed the structural limits of the airplane. It's important that we note the trend of the airspeed indicator to indicate our nose position, not necessarily where it's at. Because you'll see in this case, the airspeed is very low, but if I drop the nose and told you to open your eyes right now, you would see low airspeed, but look, it's trending up. That indicates that the nose is indeed down as airspeed is building. So we want to bring the power back, level the wings, and bring the nose up to resume normal flying attitude. Now the standards for unusual attitudes are to recover promptly to stabilize level flight attitude using proper instrument cross-check and interpretation and smooth coordinated control application in the proper sequence. Some errors you may encounter include improper trim, slow cross-check and fixations, and responding to sensory sensations rather than what the instruments are telling you. And there you have it, a little bit about unusual attitudes and recovery from them. Get some practice with your instructor and I'll see you next month for another Fly the Wing 5-Minute Flight Maneuver video.